So a couple days ago, I just got back from a road trip from Windsor, California, and um, I didn't bring the Forerunner with me, but when we got back, my aunt went to my other aunt's house my, to go see family over there, and my uh, I wanted to take the Forerunner with me to to my uh, to go see with the family, and I did. But the problem is my radio wasn't working. Uh, I was trying to listen to some Slipknot and other crazy heavy metal and rock music out there that you can think of. And my radio wasn't working. The screen was turning on, but it wasn't showing a display. So I knew something was working. But, uh, yeah. So I went to the Forerunner group that on Facebook that I'm in and told them about what my, what's going on on my radio. They told me this and this and that, so I gave it a shot and I'm gonna show it to you guys how to actually fix that problem. So, my radio is not working, so I don't need to worry about that. But if, you, if yours don't, um, just go ahead and disconnect the battery. Dis disconnect the battery and reconnect the back end. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. All you need to do, open up the hood. So in order to reset your radio and have it working again, all you need to do is grab a wrench. In this case, it's a 10 millimeter open end wrench. Disconnect ground. Take the battery off or disconnect ground and reconnect it back in. Tighten her up. All right, once it's done, close the hood. Head back into the car. grab your keys and just turn on to just only turn on accessory mode you don't need to start the car or anything like that and there you go now my radio is working right now you can hear static but at least I know my radio is working And that's how you actually reset your radio and have it working again. Now, this might not work for everybody, but for those who are wondering why is your radio not working, even though your fuses are still good, well, that's your problem. Even if your fuse is good, I suggest when your radio is, is not uh, working, even when you turn on the car, check the fuses first and see if it's blown or not. If it's blown, then you just need to replace it. But if it's not, just go ahead and disconnect the battery ground and reconnect it back in, and then 90%, uh, 90, 90 to 95%, this will actually work. Uh, and that remaining 5% may not work. But like I said, results may vary. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you guys.